Wake is a large-scale sculptural installation that addresses contemporary issues of climate change by looking at the history of consumerism and commercialism. It was designed and fabricated by students, faculty, and staff at UNC Asheville Steam Studio for artist Mel Chin. It's an animatronic figurehead framed out by a sunken ship structure that's sort of hybridized with a whale skeleton. And we installed it in Times Square in July of 2018. say you've worked in the last three days? 40 hours. 40 hours in three days? Yeah, we've worked about a year on this and to see it actually up and pretty much working um, and almost done. And Times Square made it all worth it. When I pressed the, the button to make our move while the opera singer was playing, I, I, would, I almost choked up, you know, I was so relieved. It's just a culmination of 10 months of work. It was a very emotional moment. I've grown up with this idea that how great it is to be a rugged individual as an artist and not ask for any help at all. And this process has, has opened me up. I even want to ask for help now. But I was thinking about how complicated our project is, the funds that went into it, the number of people and time that we needed to use to put it together. And then I'm just looking around at normal sized buildings and thinking skyscrapers are pretty insane. <laughs> like now that I think about it, all the engineering that goes into it and uh, yeah, I'm blown away by it. I have a new reference for art that I didn't have before. Yeah. Um, it's done. I really learned what art can do. I didn't know that art could be for something other than enjoyment. You know, I didn't know that it could be for a purpose, kind of. Because a lot of Mel's work, you know, speaks to something in the society that needs to be talked about. And, you know, I didn't, I didn't know that art could do that. I'm starting uh, up the mechatronics program in the fall. It's getting a little antsy to, to get started. <laughs> So I've been kind of uh, stopping in all the classrooms, seeing what's going on. I stopped in at STEAM and talked to Sarah, and uh, I was almost immediately part of the team. The, the graduating class from the mechatronics program, are uh, they're all super knowledgeable in their own uh, special area they're focused on. I was lucky enough to get experience with each each little part. That's what drew me to the, the project. It, it, it combines all of it together, the mechanical, electrical, and uh, even computer science. It makes me more excited to get into it and learn more and ideally I would like to do a project like this. I was very privileged to teach the Mechatronic Senior Design class with my um, colleague Rebecca Bruce um, and we worked on this project. Having the opportunity to work with my colleagues on something like this, a shared project between disciplines and working with the students on a project of this scale and this importance and under the direction of Mel Chin, we typically don't work under the direction of someone outside the university. So that made us equal team members in some respects with our students. I've taught senior design and senior projects in computer science for a really long time, but this was a project of a lifetime.